Hi all and welcome to Liquid Earth. I'm Age, and in today's tutorial we're going to create a preset of a fantastic orange sunset. This picture was taken straight out of camera and there's not much colour. So let's get straight into it and let's start with our light panel. I'm going to make a few adjustments here. So with sunsets we generally like to pull the highlights down. See so you put them all the way down, you get rid of some of those really bright areas. But let's go down to minus 26. Shadows, well, we don't really want to add too many shadows to our image because we want to keep those silhouettes. So I'm going to keep the shadows at zero. Same as the whites and blacks. Next, let's go into our color and we're going to add some vibrance. So this boosts the colors where needed normally and it's quite easy on the skin tones. Saturation, however, saturates the whole image spectrum. So we'll include the reds and the oranges in the saturation. Let's take the vibrance up to 28 and the saturation up to 39. And then let's go into our color mix. So here for reds, we're going to add even more saturation, plus 23. Same for oranges, we're going to go up to plus 23 in oranges. Oops, let's make sure we do that in the saturation. Okay, so plus 23. Now bear in mind if you've got images of people in your pictures and you can see the skin color, it's not going to look great for most skin types if you add too much orange and red. So this really is more for those silhouette pictures of people. Let's go into our yellows and we're going to boost the saturation a tad for the yellows. Greens actually going to go the other way. Often you won't get many greens in your images, um, but if you do, we want to pull those down a little bit so that we really emphasize the colors of the oranges. For teals and blues, we're going to keep that exactly the same. And purples, we're going to come down a little bit for our saturation. And the same for magenta, so minus 16. Press done when you finish that into the effects. I'm going to add a little bit of clarity. See what happens when we pull the clarity all the way up here. It adds a bit of pop and punch to the image, but we don't want to go too far. So we're going to go up to plus 40 on our clarity. And then we're going to go into our split toning. And this really is where you add the color. So let's take the highlights first of all, and let's pull into the oranges. And let's go up to a saturation of 54. And let's have a hue of 30. And then let's do the same in the shadows. So we've got a hue of 30 and a saturation of 54 and then press done. Now you can see the big difference that we've made and actually if you press and hold on the image you can see the before and then release and you can see the after. So it's made a massive effect. But we want to save that as a preset to apply to other images. That's simple, just press those three little dots, that's the settings and choose create preset. Give your preset a name, press done when you're finished. These are the parameters here that you should have ticked, make sure that they are. And then go into user presets and at the bottom create new preset group. This allows you to create a folder, we're going to call that sunsets, let's call that tutorial so I don't get confused. Press the tick and press the tick again and now we've saved that as a preset. So now go to another image, so let's try this one. To apply the preset we want to go to our presets button which is this one here. You're going to navigate to the presets where you saved it. So use that little drop down arrow and let's go into our sunsets. Sunsets tutorial, here we go. So this is sunsets orange, let's press that and you can see the impact that we've made. Now with a lot of images you want to change them even after you've added the preset. So press the tick to apply that and for this one let's go back into our light and let's reduce the exposure and see what difference it's made. And in fact, we can go back into the split tone in here and we can add some more oranges, pull the orange saturation right up to 84 and press done. And finally, I'm gonna increase the shadows on this one. So the times when you wanna see a bit of shadow detail in the foreground, so I'm gonna increase them. So there you can see a few quick tweaks and we've added a beautiful picture. Let's try another one. So this one's already saturated, it doesn't need anything. This one will be a great example. Let's go and apply that preset. So here we go, sunset orange. Before, 
and after. See the difference that's made with just one click. Same for this one, let's add this preset. Same again, sunset orange. Perfect. See the difference that's made. There you go. So that's it for the preset guys. I hope that was useful. If so, give me the thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. I post these every single week. So hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks very much again for watching. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.